Hello and welcome to Kudos Apps News. I'm Maria Nodin and today I would like to tell you about HCL Connections Activities Plus. ISW and the Kudos team has been working many years with HCL Connections, formerly known as IBM Connections. And a huge part of Connections has always been activities, a tool you go to when you want to get your work and your task done. So therefore, we are very excited to announce that we, together with HCL, deliver a new version of Connections Activities called Activities Plus. But first, a refreshing reminder on how Activities looks like in Connections today. This is my activity. I have sections, which I can expand, and I have tasks underneath my sections. And this works great, but it lacks the modern feel and some awesome features. So on to Activities Plus. Ta-da! So this is how my activity looks like in Activities Plus in Connections. First of all, you see my title and instead of sections, we have lists and underneath each list, we have tasks. Here I have a couple of tasks and you can immediately see much more information on each task. For example, you see that this task has two colors on them, red and green. This is color tags. You can edit your color tags by yourself, rename them however you want, and then just put them on the task. Here to the right, you see the color labels. And if you want to put a color tag on your task, you simply drag and drop it on the task. I can then sort my tasks by clicking on one of the color labels. And then I only see the red ones with a tag analysis. Unclick that one. I can also very easily assign my tasks to, to my team members. Out here to the right I see the members in my team and if I want to assign one of the members to one of the tasks I simply drag and drop them up on the task as well. Easy. I can also see that some of the tasks has comments, they have due dates, they have a file attached to them if I want to add a new task, I click here and enter. Simple as that. I also want to put some tags on it, also assign it to some of my colleagues. But wait a minute, this task shouldn't be there. It should be under this list instead, things to plan. Take this task, drag and drop and put it there. If I want to add a new list, I scroll down to the bottom, add a list and enter. If I'm curious on who's doing what in this project, I just click here, Assignments. Then I will see all my team members and also how many tasks they have assigned to them. That's just perfect. And we can see here that my colleague Adam, he has a lot to do. Maybe we need to help him a little bit. And um, we can see that Nikki only has two tasks. So let's see what we can do. Which tasks could we put on Nikki? Um, I'm gonna take this drop there simple as that now we move one task from Adam onto Nikki that means that we can even out the workload in the team if I scroll down to the bottom I see that I have two tasks that are unassigned which is very bad because then no one will do them so let's just take them as well drag and drop to Nikki all of a sudden he has a lot to do but that's just like we have another menu out here called to do's by date and then we can see task that has a due date so we know which task we should start by working on immediately we have eight that are overdue not very good that little red clock here tells us that the tasks are, is overdue we have 22 with no date same here i will take this one and add that for tomorrow and this one should also be tomorrow and this one should be today so that simple you can actually put a due date on your tasks so this my friends was a sneak peek of connections activities plus there are of course more features to show, but that will be in the next video. What I can tell you is that this will be available in Connections 
65. So if you want to start using Activities Plus, you turn that on and then import your activities with the import tool. You can also sync this activity with people that work in the full boards experience. If I click here, then I will see this activity in Kudos Boards. Some of you may be familiar with this view. You can also look at the same activity in the mind map view or in the timeline view. These features are covered in another video, so please check out our YouTube channel. That was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye!